A Texas woman has been arrested after being caught on video physically and verbally assaulting a group of Asian women uh, in a parking lot. So now the video has uh, racked up about thousands, maybe even millions of views at this point on social media. And it shows a woman identified as pol uh, by police as Esmeralda Upton yelling, uh, going on uh, racist rants, assaulting someone physically and even threatening to use a gun on one of the victims. I want to show you some of that video. Take a look. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. If things are so great in your country, then stay there. We were not talking to you. You came here. Get lost. Oh, 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 come, come closer, come closer. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, she's hitting me. Oh, she's hitting me. She's hitting me. She's hitting my friend now. I am not hitting your friend. No, you're hitting your friend. And you just committed assault on camera. Look, that again, if that isn't some racist caring behavior, I don't know what is. And what's worse, by the way, is she even threatened to use a gun in a different part of the video. Uh, again, that's terrible enough in its own right, but it's also Texas. And so there's a very good chance that she would have possibly follow through on that threat and someone will be harmed now thankfully she did not use a gun but still let's get into the absurd so mainly her defense if you if you didn't hear that i'm mexican but i paid my way and I, i'm sorry do you think that that gives you a pass to be bigoted towards other people i mean it's i don't quite understand that sense of entitlement hey i Look, I paid to be here, so obviously I can be as shitty as I want to be. No, that's not how it works. It's a care and mindset. Again, it doesn't matter where you come from, what your race is. If you think that way, you're a bad person. You're a Karen. Now, one of the victims um, is named Ronnie uh, Bonerjee, and uh, she actually talked to CBS News, right? So first she uh, posted this on Facebook, it started getting some attention. CBS News reached out to her uh, and she had uh, uh, talked to them uh, and specifically WFAA TV in Dallas, who was a, an affiliate. And she uh, basically said, look, my friends and I were, we were eating at 60 Vines restaurant. We were just minding our own business. We weren't doing anything. Uh, and suddenly this, this woman approached us in the parking lot. Quote, suddenly we heard this woman yelling at us and she started coming towards us. And we were shocked by the racial slurs that she had used. Uh, lots and lots of references to curry. OK, uh, now, after the incident, of course, police had had come and, and, and talked to her. And at first, well, they didn't arrest her. Uh, later on, they saw the video. And then Upton was arrested on Thursday and charged with misdemeanor assault and making terroristic threats according to the Plano Police Department. She has since been released from custody after posting $10,000 in bond, according to Plano spokesperson Andre Smith, talking to CBS News. Now, let's be honest, uh, $10,000 in bond, if she could afford to do that, well, there's a good chance she was being honest about literally being able to pay her way into the country. Look, I've talked about it before. Our immigration system loves rich people, hates poor people. And that's assuming, of course, that she had immigrated here, you know, as an adult. 
I don't know the situation. I don't know her situation. All I know is what she said. And she said, I'm a Mexican, but I paid to get in. Okay. All right. Uh, now, police also spoke about hate crime charges. So that's interesting, right? Uh, now, they did note that there hasn't been any hate crime charges filed yet, but they didn't rule it out either. Uh, in fact, the department wrote this. We are working closely with the FBI and the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division on this case. So I don't know if there's going to be hate crime charges filed. We'll have to see. Uh, but look, let's go on to the other issue, right? Uh, the pattern. Stuff like this is not random. Anti-Asian hate crimes have actually been on the rise. This is according to a report by Stop AAPI Hate. There were nearly 11,500 reported hate crimes against Asians between March of 2020 to March of 2022. Two-thirds of all the incidents involved verbal harassment, written hate speech, or inappropriate gestures. Uh, now, look, I think a lot of that comes from uh, the fear of COVID, right? Look, it didn't help that, uh, you know, before the time, like, uh, before the election and even afterwards, you had a lot of right-wingers talking about China flu, right? Uh, the Chinese virus, all that stuff. Uh, and look, there was already hatred against uh, people of Indian descent, mainly because I think a lot of stupid people considered them to be Muslims. They're not, but even if they were, that doesn't give you an excuse to attack them or to call them slurs. Most Muslims are Hindu, but again, facts don't matter to them. Facts don't matter to ignorant people because, again, they don't care about the details. And well, that's why they're ignorant. Look, the thing is, how hard is it to live, uh, to leave people alone, to, to let people live their lives? It costs you nothing, absolutely nothing. You have to be a real snowflake to get triggered by the mere existence of another human being enough to come and yell at them and threaten them and call them racial slurs. I don't quite get it. I couldn't imagine doing that. But apparently some people out there, they, they can't help themselves. They can't help but inject themselves in other people's lives, to get into their business, get into their face, and threaten them. No, to those people, just live your life, man. Go live your life. Let other people live theirs. They're not harming you with their existence. Okay? Let it go. Go do something fun. Okay? Stop. Stop. Just just stop. Don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that. I tell you don't do it. Stop. Just stop. Let people live their lives.